morning, everyone. It's Monday, October 5th, and I have another reading for you the week, and I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing, letting you pick a card, because that seems to be um, seems to be something that everybody enjoys, and why not, right? So you get your own personal message, and then I will do an overall reading with the three cards together. So today, what happens often for me is I know I'm going to be doing these readings Monday mornings. So I'll wake up and I'm still lying in bed and I start to think about what deck it is that I want to work with, that I want to pull cards from. And no, it, it never fails. It seems that a, a deck will pop into my head. And today it was Power Animal Oracle cards. And luckily I have lots of decks to choose from. As you can see that whole top shelf, I just rearranged my um, little cottage where I do all my readings and my writing. I just rearranged everything and all those decks on top, plus there's some over here, are all animal decks because I love working with the wisdom of animals, as you know. So, but this is the one that popped into my head. So when I came out to my cottage today, I, I uh, pulled the deck out. And of course, the front of the cards are orange and kind of an autumn yellow. And I thought, wow, that makes so much sense as um, here in Wisconsin and in uh, the Northern Hemisphere, we are going into fall. We are into fall already. And I just love, look at the beautiful light outside my windows today. I love the light this time of year, especially in this window. It doesn't look like it's sparkling. It's windy here today. So um, that just adds to the magical lightness and sparkle. <laughs> All right, so you pick card number one, card number two, or card number three. You ready? All right, here we go. So card number one is Cougar. The message on the card is confidence, be bold, and take charge. So this message is really about coming into our own power, stepping into our own power. And perhaps that is something you've been working on. And I really, when I look at 2020, that is what a big part of 2020 has been all about for each of us. Whether we have been owning our own power or we've really had to step into that, that's what we've been asked to do. Um, and stepping into our own power, something I found interesting is that the cougar, its main prey is the deer. And symbology of deer is they are is gentleness. They also feel into all of their senses. So I can say, you know, as an example, for years I struggled with stepping into my own power. And sometimes I still do. Sometimes I have a hard time with that, but I'm definitely much better at it. But what I came to learn is you know, we have maybe maybe this misconception uh, of what power is. And definitely in our world, it is played out this way as well, that we think power, you have to be like this bull in a china shop, right? But when we think about the symbology of deer, about being gentle, we can actually step into our own power and share our power in a gentle way and in a compassionate way. And I believe in my heart that is part of the big lesson of 2020. So if you pick one, again, it's cougar, confidence, be bold, take charge, step into your own power, start to do that. All right, card number two is raccoon. And the message on the card is resourcefulness. And you have all the resources you need. When you think about raccoon, they are extremely resourceful, aren't they? I mean, they will do whatever they need to do to get food and to eat and to survive. Um, but also, when I look at raccoon, I always think of the mask that they're wearing. Now, I'm not going to get into controversy about mask, no mask, and what's going on in the world with that. But years ago, as I started to do my own um, healing work, started my own inner journey, I started to peel away the masks of things that no longer served me the masks that I perhaps had bought into under societal pressure. So I think that's really worth noting because that is something, again, in 2020, we've really been asked to go inward and to really listen to our hearts and to really take into consideration and start living from the space of what we believe in. 
And that requires letting go, taking off some of those masks. And that can feel scary, right? That can feel very scary again. And when you look at it with this one about stepping into your power, it means you have to start taking off some of the masks. But when we look at resourcefulness, I think a great thing to remember, and this is something I went through on my um, journey throughout the years too, is regarding resourcefulness and taking off the mask is to remember that we can get the help and the support that we need when we're doing this inner work that can feel challenging at times. So remember there's resources out there to help you every step of the way. And to, it's okay to ask for help. I think it takes courage to ask for help. I think it's one of the best self-care things you can do for yourself. So remember, you do have the resources. You might just have to think a little bit about what they are, but know that there is help there for you to help take off those masks that no longer um, feel right to you. So the third card is Lizard. If you pick number three, it is Lizard. The message on the card is dream time. Pay attention to your dreams and visions. Oh man, I love this card. <laughs> so lizard is all about perception, about being perceptive. Um, and what I love about the message on here about paying attention to your dreams and visions. When we think about, you know, this goes back thousands of years ago, and that is the way in which many people lived. The Aboriginal, the Native Americans, they would get together, some still do, many still do, get together in their tribes every morning and they would talk about their dreams and their visions. And so often what happens in today's world, in today's modern world, we're so busy trying to achieve these goals that are sometimes not necessarily, I don't wanna say not real, um, but we're not always necessarily doing for the right reasons, right? So when we go to sleep at night, this is when our mind finally settles down and our subconscious can bubble to the top. And this is when our dreams and visions can provide us with the clues to what it is that we can do to truly live our best lives. So if you pick lizard, you might want to start paying attention to your dreams and visions. Also pay attention to the symbology in the world because the world is always speaking to us as well um, through the animals, through nature. So um, you might want to pay attention to that as well as you pick number three and lizard. So the overall message is, and I wrote this down because I worked with it before I came on the camera today on video. So cougar, when we move more and more into our own power, we are granted more opportunities to, to um, see the real us, to live from that space within us that is real and true. And when we begin to do that, our dreams and visions for our lives can come about more easily. And we start to live in alignment with who we truly are. So that is the message for the week. Again, cougar was number one, raccoon was number two, and lizard was number three. So let me know, was um, if you picked one, two, or three, is there another, did you get another message that um, you felt relates to that? And maybe somebody else picked the same, same card, and maybe by your sharing, that will help them as well um, if they pick the same card. So feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I post this on Facebook, also on YouTube, and on my blog. So feel free to leave a comment if you would like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how that resonated or if you have more to add to um, the card or the overall reading. Um, that definitely helps all of us. So feel free to leave a comment. All right. Have a great week, everyone. Enjoy the week, and I'll be back again next Monday. Take care. Bye.